I want to call to order the June 6, uh, July 16, 2015 meeting of the Ascension Parish Council. Uh, Madam Secretary, please note that Councils Johnson, Councilman Johnson, Councilman Schechsneider, and Councilman Turner are working. They won't be here right now. I'd like everyone to uh, please stand for the invocation and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance that will be given by Scouts from Troop 205, Logan Kennedy, Andrew Sheehan, Harrison Dottery, Aaron Dottery, Daniel Greenwald, and Skylar Yan, and Josh Mayo. Dear Lord, we thank you for this night. Lord, we thank you for the attendance of our younger generation getting involved in their communities and working towards merit badges and towards the honor and the moral values that we want to see and continue through the future. Lord, it's with heavy heart this night that we ask for special intentions for the Rome family, for the loss of Miss Bernice Rome. Lord, we also ask for special intentions for the Norris family, for the loss of Miss Peggy Norris, the wife of Mr. Fred Norris of Troop 69 of the Boy Scouts, and all that she's done in her life for the Scouts and all the Eagle Scouts she sent forward and the time she spent. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sirs? To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Thank you, Scouts. Uh, chairs additions. We have a we have a couple. Uh, one thing that uh, we have a request to take agenda item number six A of the consent agenda adoption of the June 4th, 2015 uh, regular council meeting. We have a uh, we have a typo change. We want to change in that. Uh, I would like to take that and move it to agenda item number 7A. Can we get a motion on that? I have a motion. We have a motion by Mr. Todd Lambert. Second. Second by Mr. Malone Song. Roll call, Madam Secretary. Don't need, you don't need a roll call. No, no need, roll call yeah, on this a, one? Just not on that one. Okay. Objection. Just a motion to. Be good. The other uh, agenda changes, we have a. Uh, we have a change order for the contractor for the, uh, the mental health building uh, by uh, our engineer, Mr. Mike Enlow. Can I get a motion to get that on? So moved. Uh, so moved. Second. A motion by Mr. Joseph, second by Mr. Cazzo. Any objection? Do you, no, you need a roll call on that You need that a roll call one. on that one. <laughs> I'm trying to get by without it on there. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Roll call, Madam Secretary. Councilwoman Terry Casso? Yes. Councilman Joseph? Yes. Councilman Dempsey Lambert? Yes. Councilman Todd Lambert? Yes. Councilman Chris Lohr? Yes. Councilman Brian Malalsan? Yes. Councilman Daniel Satterley? Yes. That'll be moved to agenda item 7B. We also have a request to... Uh, and I'd like to move to agenda item 7C on the same building uh, by engineer Mike Enlow, uh, substantial completion of that contractor's project. Can I get a motion? Motion. Motion by Ms. Cazzo, second by Mr. Todd Lambert. Roll call, Madam Secretary. Councilwoman Casso. Yes. Councilman Joseph. Yes. Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Yes. Councilman Todd Lambert. Yes. Councilman Chris Lohr. Yes. Councilman Brian Malonso? Yes. Councilman Daniel Satterley? Yes. So be it. That'll be moved to agenda item 7C. We'll move back to agenda item 6 minus A. So, so we'll entertain a motion, Mr. Todd Lambert. Second. Second by Mr. Satterley. Any discussion? Any opposition? <laughs> motion passes.
We'll move to agenda item number seven, approval of RFP, public relations uh, services, water quality outreach plan. On June 30, 2015, the purchasing department received six proposals for public relations services, water quality outreach plan for Ascension Parish. After review, the non-engineering selection committee recommends accepting the, the proposal submitted by ABC Group and to authorize the parish president to begin contract negotiations for this service. So moved, Mr. Chair. Motion by Mr. Todd Lambert. Second. Second by Mr. Sadler. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion passes. I would ask the permission of the council to uh, let me go back and fix a mistake I had. Uh, I went right past the parish president's report. I apologize, parish president Martin S. The report, sir. You don't have to apologize. Uh, not that detailed tonight. But there you go. anyway, uh, I just want to say that we heard back from People's Water. Uh, there's uh, a couple things that uh, they looked at, and, and we getting back with uh, Falk and Winkler, and uh, we're going to get back with you guys as to, to what changes. Uh, that they want to make and that uh, we want to look at. So uh, we, we get, I don't know, I'm hoping that we're getting closer, but uh, we're still interested and uh, hopefully our negotiations can continue to a degree. Uh, I know we put a cap at $5 million, uh, but with some of the, the differences that uh, they've shown us with the uh, our accountants' numbers, uh, maybe just a slight difference there. So. But that's, that's what I want to report back to you that uh, we did hear from them on that. And uh, Mr. Joseph, you want to? I, I guess I just want to, I've been, I know you're looking at you hard on that, <laughs> Paris President. Mm -hmm. uh, are we going to have another meeting with uh, the utility uh, chairman for uh, to bring him up to speed on that and whatever the new numbers may be? Right. So it can go through that process. But well, well he... Uh, He's not here tonight, and of course we're not taking any action. I just got the letter uh, today, actually. So okay. uh, I just wanted to inform you <coughs> about it. And uh, the other thing, uh, go ahead, Terry. I was just curious, Tommy, how far are we dramatically far no, apart? No, 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 no. It's uh, negotiable. it's uh, it's negotiable. Yeah, I think so. So anyway. Excellent. Thank you so much. The other thing, I, I think today the bond commission passed our uh, deal with the. Uh, on the Edenborn connector, and uh, we uh, have $4.2 million more in cash added to the, I think it's uh, $1.1 million that we received uh, last year uh, and working on. So that project should be ongoing, and hopefully uh, by the early part of next year, you should have some construction, uh, uh, be looking at some construction. We're waiting on a permit from the Corps. Uh, I'm meeting with the Colonel. He's coming to our office on the 19th. Uh, that's going to be one of the topics that we talk about. Talk, and then the uh, other is Laurel Ridge and uh, uh, Alligator Bayou. So, hopefully, we can get some of those things going and uh, trying to close out some of this before I leave here. So, awesome. anyway, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Any uh, input? Uh, anybody else? Thank you. And once again, I apologize. We'll move on to agenda item 7A that we put on, which is uh, Mr. Parrington, uh, a yes. change in the June 4th, 2015 council meeting minutes. Yes, this is just a min the <coughs> minutes were on the agenda tonight. In the June 4th meeting, I, we approved a uh, change order number four. That was on the road project. What occurred was that our consultant uses a form that's called a work change order. Mm -hmm. We usually call those work change directives. Right. So it was placed on as number four. We don't have a two and a three, so we need to go back and clarify that this is the change order number two, so we can keep our numbers in place. And that's all we need to do, just amend it. The motion agenda by Mr. Malonson. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion passes. We'll move to agenda item 7B, uh, which is a change order for the mental health building. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Dempsey Lambert, second by Mr. Todd Lambert. Any discussion? 
Any opposition? This motion passes. We will move to agenda item 7C on the same billing, uh, 14 and a half day extension for uh, substantial completion. So we moved. Move. Okay. A motion by so moved. Mr. Joseph, second by Mr. Todd Lambert. Any discussion? Any opposition? Motion passes. We'll move on to agenda item number eight, introduction of ordinance. Uh, introduction of ordinance 15-03, revision to the development code section 17-2039, industrial designation overlay zone, West Bank Industrial Overlay. Motion to introduce, Mr. So Chairman. Motion to introduce second. by Mr. Todd Lambert, second <coughs> by Ms. Cazzo. Um, yes, Mr. Joseph. I know uh, we have economic development here and uh, I know we hired a firm to look at a couple of things that you don't mind if they have any little input. Can they give us a little input on that for making them develop? Mike? Mr. Eves, do, do y'all have anything that you would like to say or? Just it's just an introduction, so. Engineer? Yes, Mr. Taylor? Good evening, council members, and thank you for uh, allowing me to give a status update. So if you all recall uh, some time ago when we, initiated, when we initiated the process to start the overlay and even consider this, uh, two critical pieces that we thought need to be looked at uh, to even prove or validate the feasibility of this was the availability of dock and rail. So with the help of the regional uh, economic development partners, uh, BRAC and then also LED, uh, we, we initiated a dock and rail study. So where we're at with that is um, we've had very positive response from UP. Uh, we've had several meetings with them at the uh, division level, and then we have one set up uh, at the corporate level. So that feedback is good in terms of servicing this site and the, and the desire to provide service in this area. And also on the dock, there are two potential locations that a dock could go that could uh, dock a Panamax vessel. And what we're looking into now is where could those docks go that would provide the, the, maximum, uh, the maximum benefit with the minimum amount of dredging? Because as you all know, uh, every, every river bank is not created equal. There's a deep channel in the river where you have uh, uh, access to um, um, the batcher. Uh, some is better than others. The depths in some locations are better than others. So right now we're, we're going through um, each agency that has jurisdiction over the river. Uh, there's, there's the maritime uh, aspect of locating a dock with, with safety on, on river travel. And there's also the structural component which the Corps has jurisdiction over. So if you can imagine, it's like you got to get three agencies to agree on where is the best location for a dock. So. Um, we met with the Corps, met with one of the pilots associations. We got one more to, to meet with and confirm the locations. So uh, we're, we're real close to um, getting, I guess, the million dollar question answered that everybody wants to know. So hopefully for the next meeting we have uh, a draft report and then, and then a final report shortly thereafter. So that's, that's the status of where, where everything stands. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Payne. Any, any opposition? Yes, Mr. I just want to say that, that if you listen to Ms. LeBlanc earlier about the sales tax collections and, and things that, you know, we kind of leveling off, that this affords us the opportunity that I don't think any other state in the United States will have 15,000 acres readily available uh, for new industrial development, which is going to be a huge... Uh, uh, infuse of probably new businesses coming in and new taxes and uh, you know it's something that that we sorely need because we, we've run out of land here on the East Bank uh, good land where they have uh, good docking facilities and stuff and it's uh, I think it's going to be the future of uh, Central Parish and it's also going to be the future of the West Bank to where uh, they can grow and prosper as the East Bank has but uh, it gives us 10, 15 more years to continue developing and continue uh, with our tax base and, and actually increasing it. So I think this is probably the most important thing uh, that's come around in the last uh, four, five, six years uh, 
-hmm. for Ascension Parish because it's, it's going to afford us that opportunity to, again, be a viable place for these, uh, for, for these businesses to locate. So uh, I know this is just an introduction, but I just thought I wanted to, to say how important of an issue this is. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that, Mr. President. Thank you, sir. Any objection? That's passed. We'll move on to agenda item number nine. Introduction of ordinance 15-04, revision to the zoning map, West Bank Industrial Overlay. Motion introduced. Second. Second. Motion introduced by Mr. Malonson, second by Mr. Lord. Any objections? Motion passed. We'll move on to agenda item number 10, introduction of ordinance, budget amendment number five to amend the 2015 budget. Motion introduced. Second. Chairman. Motion introduced by Mr. Todd Lambert, second by Mr. Oliver Joseph. Any objection? Motion introduced. Before we move on to agenda item number 11, once more I want to thank the parents for bringing your scouts out here and thank you guys for working hard with your children. And uh, we're always ready to have the scouts at our meetings and we hope that we put a little bit in front of you. You had to pick an agenda item that you're going to go back and study. And uh, so we got a couple of them on there you can put a lot of work into and earn your badge. Right now, uh, um, Councilman Dempsey Lambert. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. I'd, I'd also like to uh, welcome all of our uh, out of state uh, baseball players. They are at Stevens Park. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for kicking that off last night and Santa today. Santa Park, yeah. Santa Mar Park. Uh, Parish President, I appreciate everything you've done to helping, um, you know, getting things lined up for the, everyone there. So it, it's, it's going to be a really good show for baseball, it's, and it all kicks off today. So thank you, everyone, for putting in and, and helping out with that. I think it's four states in here. So, uh, what, we ha what we have is just the regionals for the uh, – for the World Series, nine-year-old nine World Series. And we're very proud to say that while Dempsey's talking about uh, he's worked on it hard about four states being involved, it's the fact that we've got seven Louisiana teams in that tournament. And we also have a very proud Ascension team in that tournament. So we might have a World Series champion coming from our midst here, as we've always turned out some very great baseball players in this area. Great. Anything else? Anybody else? Any special announcements? Motion. Mr. Todd Lambert. Motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. We have a motion second. to adjourn. We have a second by Ms. Cazzo. Any discussion? Any opposition? We are adjourned.